Well, it is the day after Christmas. Today is, uh, I believe, December 26th. And hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. It's kind of fitting and ironic as we are going to drill a well today. And we are going to Jerusalem Road. <laughs> kind of cool. All right. Well, we're headed that way now. It is 37 degrees outside. It's quite cold. I got four layers of clothes on. And we're going to go cut a hole in a deep area. It's, I don't know. We'll see if we hit water today or not. It's kind of hit or miss here. Whether you're on the left side of the road or the right side of the road, you just never know. But, um, we'll see what happens. We're in spot. Everything's good to go. I gotta go get my truck out of the middle of the road. So I decided to put my coveralls on and out of like the five pair that we have at the shop, I decided to grab the ones that have the broken zipper. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to rock the button on the bottom today. <laughs> Something's better than nothing, I guess. It's freezing out here. other piece here that's got a little discoloration in it sometimes if you set casing in that and allow your water to come in contact with that the minerals that are in that rock that didn't make that rock discolored and brown will also turn your water brown so what you want to do is try to drill through this material to where all you get is this material that's clean quality granite right there got a little bit of quartz in it too so we're almost to the point now where it's time to set casing. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to get a, a plastic coupling, just like a little plastic drop shoe, like this. We're going to tap it on the bottom of the casing. That's going to be a little extra added protection and make the casing seat a little bit bigger around. Just in case it cracks the uh, plastic, this will also be a good protection. the thickness 
of the, of the casing seat with a little bit of a bevel. This right here protects this bottom portion, but when the hammer starts firing right in here, it doesn't crack this up. It does a really good job. You gotta be easy tapping it on with it 37 degrees out here, it'll crack that plastic. Probably, I don't know, about 12 foot into, into solid granite, so we're probably pretty good. I'll talk to Dad and see if he wants to drill it to 60 or 55 or whatever. But regardless, it's good to go. And, you know, we're injecting air in the ground. We don't see anything coming out of the other well that's over there, so that's also a good sign. We just finished putting casing in. We've got about 52 foot. Uh, in the ground and we had to go ahead and change the bit out as well the uh the last hole that we just dug came off of about four days ago that was 600 foot so the uh the drill bit was pretty dull so we replaced that with a new one and he's gonna go ahead and start going down hook some rods up and we'll be in search for water so far it's been going really good for this area you know Initially, we had uh, about 40 foot of like sandy material, and it didn't give us one bit of problem. So, uh, we're pretty lucky there.
we won't have any ice blockage in any of our pipes. That's the biggest problem with drilling in the wintertime, is stuff freezing up and blocking it up. Because it takes quite a few hours for something that's plugged up, you have no idea where it is, you got to let it stay above freezing for probably six hours before it's done and 